Hey guys, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to be doing the look that Kristen Stewart wore for her Allure magazine photo shoot. And I just saw this look yesterday. Um, I think the photos were just released yesterday, Tuesday. And absolutely fell in love with it. It is a very intense but really well blended brown smoky eye. And there's some silver and some blue eyeliner and soft pink lips. and. I absolutely love it. I'm a huge fan of Kristen Stewart. Not as much for her acting. I think she's a good actor. I don't think she's a great actor yet. I think that she will be someday, but um, I just really, really love her style. I love clothing, hair, makeup. Um, she's fabulous. One of my favorite actresses as far as like style, makeup, hair, things like that. So, um, yeah, but I hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial. Um, if you do, don't forget to rate. Uh, I really appreciate that. And, yeah, so if you guys want to see how to do this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is prime your eye. I'm going to be using the Revlon Cream Shadow in Khaki Suede. And I'm going to take this darker brown color and get a little on my middle finger and just pat it all over the lid. And then I'm also going to take a little bit on the lower lash line. Okay, and then for the first shadow, I'm going to use a really sparkly silver on the inner third of the eye. I'm going to take this Maybelline Single and Silver Lining and a small Sonny Kashuk eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to pat that on the inner third of the eye. Okay, and then for the next shadow, I'm going to take a clean brush and the um, Physicians Formula Trio and Baked Smokes. I'm going to take this brown color right here. It's not too dark of a brown, as you can tell in the other eye, but um, so it'll make a nice transition from the silver into the really dark brown in the outer crease. So I'm just going to start patting this on the second half of the eye. Okay, and then I'm going to use my small eyeshadow brush that I use for the silver to blend. You can just keep patting on the brown color and then blending with the silver until you're happy with the color. Okay, and then once you've got that, take this is the Ulta Color Gold Dust. I'm going to take a large Sunny Kashuk blending brush. I'm going to get a little bit onto the brush and just pat it on the outer corner and kind of blend it in with the brown from the Positions Formula just like that and then take a clean brush I have the same I have two of these brushes so I'm going to take the clean one and just start blending it into the shape that you want okay and then over top of gold dust I'm going to take the same first blending brush and the Ulta Color Molten, which is just a really, really dark brown. And I'm going to pat that on top of the gold dust. And once again, I'm just patting the color on top, and then I'll take the other blending brush to blend it out. And just work on blending out the corners but still keeping the intensity of the brown. That's what makes this step the hardest step of a look. Okay, and then once you have that blended out, you can go ahead and take your highlight color, mine is Silk from Ulta, and a clean brush and just pat that along the brow bone. And you can also carefully take it along the edge of that brown to continue to blend it out. 
Okay, and then now to start with the lower lash line, I'm going to take another brown color. This is from the L'Oreal Hip Duo Sassy. I'm going to take this brown color right here on just a clean, small blending brush. And I'm going to start at the inner corner and brush it along about halfway. Okay, and then on this remaining half of the lower lash line, I'm first going to take uh, gold dust and just use that to blend in with the color from the L'Oreal Hip. And then Molten, which is the color right here. We're going to take that and use it to blend that in. And then go ahead and reapply your first shadow, the Maybelline shadow, just right on the inner corner. And take it down right onto the lower lash line. Okay, and then the next step is to take a black pencil and apply it to the waterline. Okay, and then once you've done that, go ahead and tight line as well with the same black pencil. If you don't know what tight line is, it's basically just the waterline on your top lash line. And you just take the pencil, I've already done it, but just take the pencil along the waterline of your top lash line. Um, be careful if you are a contact lens wearer like me, you have to be really careful because that can be painful. Um, and the next one I'm going to do is just take a small eyeshadow brush and any black color that you have, I'm going to use this Jessie's Girl eyeshadow. And I just want right around the outer corner of the eye to be darker. So just literally right here, I'm going to pat this black color on. Okay, and then the next step is to apply a blue eyeliner. This is another, um, this is a Love My Eyes eyeliner duo. I got this at Walmart. And I'm just going to lightly line the top lash line. And that's one of my favorite things about Kristen Stewart's looks is how she has brown around the eyes and then like blue eyeliner. And it looks so pretty on her, especially because she has like greenish, bluish eyes. Um, but the next step, once you have the blue eyeliner on, I'm going to take this blue from my Mary Kay palette. This is the color Denim Frost. And I'm going to take a, this is just a liner brush. And I'm going to pat that right next to the lash line. Okay, and then near the top of the eyeliner, I'm going to take a light blue color. This is Mint from Ulta, and just an angled brush. I'm just going to pat that along the top of the eyeliner. Okay, and then once you're finished with the eyeliner, you're done with the shadow and everything. So now I'm going to go curl my lashes and apply mascara, and I'll be back to the lips. Okay, and then the last step, of course, is lips. And she has these really, really pretty pink lips in the um, picture. So I'm going to take this Max Factor lipstick in Miss Right, which I know it's kind of a scary pink, but I'm just going to pat it onto my lips. Okay, and then on top of that, I'm going to take this Maybelline Wet Shine Liquid Lip Gloss in Peach Pit. Okay, and that is it for this look. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the tutorial and that this is helpful. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!